Good afternoon. That man, Andrew McGill, decapitated a woman with an axe, a woman who had a chance encounter with him in 2017. Now, two years later, his attorneys have stopped arguing he's insane, and prosecutors have released some chilling interrogation video. Here's News 13's Elena Mendoza. For the first time, we're seeing video of Andrew McGill's interaction with police in April 2017. Officials say that woman was Mary Ann Morehouse, who worked at Co Ranch near Rudoso Downs. She had called a friend saying she was going to investigate a stranger she had spotted on the property. A driver later found Andrew McGill walking in the area with blood on his hands and took him to the police department. At the time this video was taken, police didn't know about Morehouse's murder, but McGill would tell them. And I had to kill somebody. He rants about being Jesus. And the other day I realized that I was God, or Jesus, and I was forgiving the world's sin. From that point, he baptized himself, as he said, in a creek that was nearby. District Attorney John Sugg has argued all along this was a clear-cut case of murder. Months after the killing, McGill entered a plea of not guilty by reason of insanity. But yesterday, yes, McGill pled guilty to second-degree murder. And the court is going to accept it. The deal comes after the DA's office hired psychiatrist Michael Wellner, who's testified in several high-profile cases, including Andrea Yates's. Dr. Wellner concluded McGill was under a drug-induced psychosis. That testimony came with a hefty price tag of $93,000. But DA John Sugg says it was worth the money. Of course, if he was found not guilty by reason of insanity, which is what their doctor's opinion was, uh, then he could have been out in a month. And that was a, a, a situation we just couldn't chance. In Lincoln County, Elena Mendoza, KRQE, News 13. After the killing, McGill got into a struggle with Deputy Jason Green at the hospital. He grabbed the deputy's gun and shot him in the arm. That ended his career. McGill faces up to 51 years in prison when he's sentenced in September.